Right now, we are here on the film showing of the documentary So What or Who was Saving the Camera from Extinction. Of course, uh, with us is the Camera Ranger Ed. You will witness soon our interview with one of the environment uh, ambassador you know, other than Anthony Spice. Environmental. Yes, Ako, in this, uh, yung sa, about sa Tamaro, ano pong advocacy matter? Actually, um, everything is really interconnected. So, bukod po sa, whether it's um, conservation for Tamaraos, or conservation para sa ating mga marine species, or siyempre sa ating Filipino eagle, lahat po yung connected sila. And the message really here is, sa ating mga Pilipino, first of all, we need to be proud of these amazing species na tayo lang talaga ang meron sa mundo. At pangalawa, kailangan nating ma-realize yung importansya nila at kailangan nating malaman at masabi rin sa mga tao na talagang in danger na mawala sila. And in so, the Philippines is rich in biodiversity. Yes po. And we want them to know na rich tayo in biodiversity but at the same time, itong ating mga pinahahalagahan ng mga species sa ating bansa, um, a lot of them are at risk of extinction at pwedeng mawala na sila forever. At kaya natin binibigyan ngayon ng highlight yung issue na to so that everyone can talk about it, everyone can support. Kasi minsan feeling natin kapag medyo seryoso, like whether it's Tamarau conservation or anything else, we feel that maybe we don't have a chance to help. But in reality, all of us um, can can help and contribute in so many powerful ways. Unang-una, yung pag-share pa lang sa social media, yung pag-share pa lang sa mga kakilala natin, tungkol sa mga natutunan natin, tungkol sa mga issue na to. And yes, awareness po. So for today, yun na nga po, it's about Tamaro conservation. And if we can just spread the word about it, talk about it, we can find other ways to help. Whether nakakapag-donate tayo or in-educate pa natin yung mga tao sa paligid natin para lahat tayo nalalaman natin yung mga problema at pati na rin yung mga paraan para makatulong. And especially, I, I saw this as, I remember that it's the yes. SDG, yes. SDG, 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 the yes. Sustainable Development Goal. Yes. Part in po kayo in your advocacy of the SDG. Yes po. Um, so I'm the Goodwill Ambassador of the United Nations Environment Program. But more than just talking about the environment, everything that we do when it comes to protecting the planet, it's really about protecting people. And when we talk about the Sustainable Development Goals, these are 17 solutions there are 17 actual problems that need to be solved, but they also come with potential solutions and ways and it's a guide for us to find a way to a more sustainable future, a future that will be able to sustain both humanity and the planet together in harmony. Thank you. I actually thought... Pero sa aming puso po, talagang nandun po, hindi po namin nagpapagpapagpapag para sa salamat. Uh, ako naman po si Heron Marcelan, Subdivider ng Tamaro Ranger. So, nagpapasalamat po kami, utik lugtuhod po kami sa lahat ng tumutulong sa Tamaro. Wala nung lalo po sa gumawa ng swapuso po sa filming na ito. Then, uh, maraming maraming salamat po sapagkat sa habang tumatagal po ang panahon, marami po ang tumutulong sa Tamaro. At sana po mas datami pa. Wow. Um, Regarding the predicament to mga ranger, may initiative ba kayo na ilapit, ilapit sa congressman na magkaroon ng bill regarding to sa mga Tamaro ranger natin for the security of senior that they deserve also na maging permanent na ma-well acknowledged publicly, especially na DNR, yung effort na ginagawa nila because Tamaro is our cultural heritage and it's a pride not only from the Mindanao people but all of us Filipinos. Thank you. from DZMG. And anyone is free to answer the question? Ang pagkakaalam po po, ang Oriental Mindoro ay may pagkakaalam patas na naman yung isang opisina ng PCP. Tapos ang kongresman po ng Oriental Mindoro, sabi ay para may propose na rin po. Ang kaso, ang nagiging problema nga lang po, para abutin pa daw yan ang limang taon, bago yun po ang balita, so limang taon, limang taon pang paghihirap to sigurado. Kaya po yung panya yun, ang hinahanap mo namin, Uh, siguro yung matalihan. Uh, kasi nga po, uh, kung five, uh, five years pa, mula ngayon, uh, matagal po talaga. Pero kahit ang maganda naman pong balita doon, 
ay may, uh, may ginagawa po na paraan. Tapos may kaaragdagang po yata. Sa lahat, una, napapasalamat kami sa mga tuwa ng pelikula, producer and writer, at yung uh, director, and of course, yung hero. Hindi lang yung pelikula, kung isa ito ang buhay na araw-araw ay nakasalamuha ng mga ng kalikasan at saka mga tao. Ang pangalang po si Roland Tadigas sa uh, Pisina ni Kung may may sato, kama ko si Jonathan Rukilio. Doon sa dalawang, doon sa tanong, in so far as the security of tenure and in relation to yung uh, improving yung uh, uh, sweldo. No? So, napakit po rin po rin doon sa documentary yung uh, passage ng Inay Pass. So, I think alam naman natin lahat na yung principal author ng Inay Pass ay si uh, Congresswoman Josephine Zabin Sato. So, pagkatapos na ito ay may pasa noong uh, 17th Congress natapos noong 2018, Uh, ngayong 2019, na 18 Congress na, pero uh, meron na mga several na hapang, yung pwedeng hapang ginawa dyan. Yung una-una ay nagipasa na yung uh, IRR, yung Implementing Rules and Regulation ng uh, INIPAS, na siya magiging batayan kung paano yung uh, pag-roll out ng project sa bawat mga protected areas, kapilan mo uh, mautikip pa ko sa Sudental Mindoro. Yung uh, isang importante bahagi doon sa rollout ng IRR ng INIPAS ay mayroon pa natin binabangit ng biofeed, is yung funding. So for the budget, European budget, yung, 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 yung uh, national expenditure program na tapos na sa kongreso, si uh, Congresswoman Nene Sato, ay sa pamamagita ng agayang ng DNR at yung leadership sa House ay nagpanumala na yung tawag namin financing gap o yung kakulangan ng pondo para may pag, para magkaroon ng suporta yung implementation ng batas from year one, which is this year, ay magtuloy-tuloy na ang financing gap niya annually ay aabot sa 1.7 billion. Ginawa ng opisina ni Kong Nene Sato is that with, with DNR, naglabas na po kami ng budget, uh, naglabas ng budget, itemizing yung 1.7 na financing gap. At kung natapos sa third reading yung budget sa House, ngayong November, magsisimula na sa, sa Senate, yung House leadership and the initiative of the Speaker of the House and Congress Kong Nene Sato ay nag-approve na ng 500 million. So, mayroon pang diferensya ng 1.2 billion. And we hope to negotiate and lobby with our counterpart sa Senate such that kapag uh, muling hinir na yung budget ng ENR sa Senate, yung natitirang gap of 1.2 billion from the initial 500 billion already committed by the House leadership ay mabuo. Ngayon, saan makupunta yung 1.7 billion na yun? Mabuo natin already have 500 million sa state area. Yung isang aspeto po doon ay yung pagbubuo ng PAMO. I think yung pamilya nila, Protected Area Protected Area Management Office. At yung office na yun, will be that office at the local level per protected area na siyang mag-handle ng operations para doon sa pagtitiyak ng protected area ng pangalagaan, including the provisions for possible salaries and support to mga forest rangers na nakaraya ko. So, we will recommend kay Congresswoman Nene that there has to be a specific budget item doon sa amount nyo under PS for personal support that categorically address your need for your tenure ng mga forest rangers and possibly to improve ng inyong sakit. Yung panghuli, so yan yung sa usapin ng registration. Yung pangalawa naman, merong Mayroon kami ng ugnayan na ginagawa with DNR Maropa and with yung DNR PMP uh, at the Office of the Secretary for the release of an administrative order setting up yung uh, research center for Tamarao which should complement yung ginagawa ng PCP and all the other NGOs in the area right now. So the research center is meant to well, mobilize not just uh, awareness but funding 
para magkaroon pa ng mas malawak na uh, alaman kung ano yung pangangailangan ng lugar. And probably, uh, sa kausapin natin si R.D. Adornado, and hopefully sila, sila Secretary Simato, that there has to be an item in that research center which should also address yung, hindi lang yung researchers yung research, kundi yung mga tao na nasa front line, including the, the forest ranger, so that yung coordination and cooperation natin in terms of ensuring na uh, makonserve yung buhay ng mga tamaraw, in terms of protecting yung area na habitat ng tamaraw, ay magpatuloy at pagbigyan ng funding support. So yun po sa... Work together, hand in hand, not just pointing fingers and relying on certain institutions, all of us here today. And I have a question. Who among you have seen Atamarao? Wow! Oh my gosh, sabihin ko wow. Pero hindi ako kasali ng mga kanukot. Just a handful. And I think a lot of us, we want to see them in person. Today will be a treat. We're going to be learning a lot. But right now, I'd like to introduce you someone that has actually been working very closely, up close in person, the Ikala, with these elusive beasts. He is a graduate of BS Zoology in the University of the Philippines, Los Banos, and used to work as a breeder manager for KFC Philippines, formerly an ecosystem management specialist in the DENR Centro San Jose. For more than three years, he took up the mantle of TCP coordinator, and on July 2019, Please welcome, ladies and gentlemen, the coordinator of the Camarao Conservation Program, Mr. Neil Anthony Bellamy. Thank you, Ms. Thank you, Ms. I would like to invite you to do a good introduction to the Camarao Science Office and all of us here. So, um, good afternoon, Paul. I would like to thank Bayufin, um, Mace, um, Ms. Yvine, and the team for this and our partners. And for all of you na nandito ngayon, thank you very much. Your help is very much appreciated. Um, your help is instrumental in the protection and conservation of the Tagore because we in the DNR and TCP cannot do this alone. Um, we are, we are um, kulang sa tao and um, the funds from the government is limited. So um, we need you and your help for us to save the Tamara and conserve, to conserve it and to protect it. Thank you very much again and uh, good afternoon. One of our uh, finance solutions that we are currently implementing is to uh, mobilize resources for Tamara conservation. So back in, uh, so how did this all start? Ano nga ba ang story behind this? So back in 2018, uh, by being together with PCP, conservation program of DNR, we co-organized the Biodiversity Camp, or BioCamp in short. So we invited uh, uh, social media personalities, travel bloggers, travel bloggers, journalists, etc. etc. And then we uh, went to Mount Sigrid Paco. Why? Because we want to immerse these people to the natural habitat of uh, the Tamaraos. So they can experience and actually see the Tamarau's uh, real and live Tamarau's in the water. Uh, so after the biopam, uh, we asked the participants, the biopampers, to develop their own content, to write about the Tamarau's, to make a noise for the Tamarau's. And then, uh, so one of our biopampers actually is sitting over here. And uh, after that, she came to us and she was so inspired about the Tamarau's and she wanted to tell the stories of the Tamarau's and the rangers who protect our Tamarau's. So he said, uh, we have the same objective, we want to raise awareness about the Tamarau's and at the same time, mobilize resources for, that we can plow back for its conservation. So uh, Celine told us she wanted to develop or create a film. And so this is why how Swat Osupo was born. Okay. Hello. 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 So we can empathize with their uh, predicaments. And as we go deeper into the interview, the more we realize that they are in a tragic situation. Uh, on which 
one of which that shocked me the most is that they have been sacrificing their lives for a, for a decade on average, and none of them are regular employees. No benefits when they retire, no medical help, no insurance, and yet they are there every day renting hectares of land, regardless of, what, of the weather condition, protecting something that they want. Love of the Tamarals, love of the nature, love of country, and I think that's something that we need to learn from. I hope you enjoy the film, and I hope that you'll be able to help us in saving the Tamarals by helping the rangers. Thank you. 
si Ardi ng Pangulo. Uh, alam po namin na hindi po sapat ang isang pasalamat ng isang yung ginawa ng uh, suwag na suwo. Sobrang nagpasalamat po tayo ng inyo. Sabi nga ng pamagat na ito, suwag lang po na suwag po po susubo. Maraming salamat po. At ang maraming maraming salamat. So let me know po mga ranger. Ganyan pa na tayo interview portion. And of course, before we begin that, we would like to call back here to the front, of course, from Biofin, Angelique Ojeda, our director, Ace Gatula, and of course, our writer, Celine Murillo. Now, we'd like to invite everyone here today, if you have any questions whatsoever for any of our rangers, and of course, for the creators, the people responsible for this amazing film, please raise your hand. You don't have to be shy. You can pass the mic over to you. The floor is open for questions, ladies and gentlemen. Maraming salamat po sa inyong kapitingan, uh, mga kababayan ko. Uh, ako po ay kasama ninyong uh, nalulungkot sa inyong katayuan. At kung ako lamang nga po ay mabigyan ng pagkakataon, gusto ko na kayong talagang tulungan. Um, pero sa aking pong pagiging Mindoreño, ako po ay paus-puso ng papasalamat at kinararangal po kayo magkakapayan at ang ating pong uh, isang critical event ng Sinatamaraw ay isang pride at sana nga po ito yung mga isang uh, isang ascendant heritage na sa sa susunod na panahon. Um, and on behalf of Ase Calderon, um, I would like to express um, to that he regrets that he's able, not able to come at today's uh, event because of his equally important engagement at exactly the same time like we are having today. So, um, let me read to you his um, a message. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I believe that all of us here are extremely lucky to have witnessed the story of our beloved Tamaraos and the Rangers who protect them from everything that they have got. But this opportunity comes with great responsibility. This spotlight has been put on. A spark has been created. Now, we here inside this gallery should make sure that this spark turns into fire burning with all its might. So, so what also aims to raise public awareness and mobilize resources for Tamarau conservation? By now, I assume that all of you are well aware of the critical state of our critically endangered Tamarauts and the help that they and the rangers need to survive and continuously thrive. I would like to sincerely thank everyone who made this film happen, to the regional director, uh, Henry Adornado of the NRM Maroka in his office, to the Office of the Provincial and Natural Resources of Occidental New Doro, to Mr. Jun Pineda and the rest of the Community Environment and Natural Resources Office of Central San Jose or Occidental New Doro, to the Protected Area Superintendent, Sir Robert Dukil, and the rest of RBMB, and to Biofin, and the production team for the shoot up until the post production phase. To Mr. Neil Del Mundo, coordinator of the Tamarau Conservation Program, and the rest of the staff and rangers for being there every step of the way, and for fulfilling their duties and guardians of the Tamaraus, despite the perils brought by the job. To Biofin, who organized the Biodiversity Camp, or Biocamp, last year, together with the Tamarau Conservation Program, where everything started. Thank you. Last year's Biocamp immersed social and media influencers, writers, and journalists to Mount Aileen Bako Natural Park to see the Tamaraus in the wild and create content thereafter through their respective plat platforms for the public to see. Biofilm implements the finance solution to mobilize resources for the Tamarau and other endangered species through creative crowd, crowdfunding and as forum. To Ms. Celine sorry, Murillo, who wrote this wonderful story. She was among the Biocom participants last year. 
and was truly inspired to tell this story to the whole world after she got the opportunity to see the Tamaraos in the wild and spent days interacting with the rangers. To Ace Katula, who directed the film and brought in with him his hard work in production and post-production team, they braved the slopes of Mount Kilikoko Natural Park despite the unoperative weather in order to shoot this film and spent sleepless nights of editing. All this for free. And for the love of cameras, biodiversity, and the country. Thank you for making this film happen. And I would also like to thank the fellow B, the National Museum, for hosting today's event. Canon Philippines, Tamron, Benro, Echo Explorations, Midoro Biodiversity Conservation Foundation Inc., the people behind the Tawil Foundation, thank you for coming over today's uh, celebration, and, uh, and all the partners in Tamara Conservation for trusting us and believing in the power of communication as an effective tool for behavior change by aiding in making educated choices. We are grateful for your support and we look forward to continued partnership for the cameras for biodiversity conservation. Just with our, our uh, documentary, but uh, we and of course, we are now know the real situation of the camera region, the real hero, that we should be aware now that our camera is our pride for being the Filipino, our cultural heritage. Maybe some is not just don't care, but they don't care. This is NGL Bino Balaguer of CLG Online. Makabuluha. Join the Yours, Happiness Channel.